Hey guys, I'm Brett, the Nerdy Engineer. And today I'm gonna to talk about Tesla superchargers. This is one of the main reasons to buy a Tesla over any other electric vehicle because these superchargers allow you to do long range road trips, basically like you would with a gasoline car. So the superchargers, it's basically the same as any Tesla charger. It has the same adapter on the end and you just plug it in and there you go. It turned green, that means it's charging. If it turns uh, red or orange or something, that means you have an, an issue. So you'll want to unplug it and plug it back in. Sometimes you just don't plug it in far enough. The best thing about a supercharger is how fast they charge. You can get 170 miles of range in just 30 minutes. So granted, it's not as fast as filling up a gas tank, but when you're on a road trip, you have to stop for other things, not just for gas. You know, you've got to eat, grab a drink, go to the bathroom. So normally when you're stopping every few hours, it's gonna take you, you know, 30 minutes or so to do that stuff anyways. So if you stop at a supercharger, while you're charging, you go grab something to eat or go to the bathroom and your car's gonna be done by the time you get back. Uh, I have a few tips for you guys on supercharging. The first one is don't charge more than you need to. And the reason for that is the battery charges faster at the, the middle and low end of the battery pack than it does the full end. Charging from 90 to 100% is really slow, whereas charging from 30 to 40% is really fast. So if you charge more than you need to at a particular stop, then it's just gonna charge slower and you're not really gaining much for that. My second tip is don't bother speeding to a supercharger. And the reason for that is when you drive faster, you're just using more battery, which means you have to charge for longer. So it doesn't really pay off to to speed to a supercharger because you're just gonna spend more time charging. My other tip, when you're doing a road trip, in the, especially during the winter, if you're not charging at your hotel, you're charging at a supercharger nearby, don't wait until morning to charge, even if it's really late at night, because your battery pack's gonna be really cold and it's gonna charge slower. Uh, the battery packs charge better when they're warm, so it's best if once you get to your destination, you go ahead and stop and supercharge at night, and that's gonna, take you a lot less time overall to charge than if you get up in the morning and try to charge. My other tip is that the superchargers are all linked together. So you'll have charger 3A and 3B, which means those two are linked. And if somebody's using one of those chargers, the other one's gonna charge slower. So usually when you're at superchargers, there's not gonna be that many stalls taken. So I would recommend looking for a stall that nobody's using the pair, and that way you'll get faster charge rates. Also, sometimes certain stalls just are slow for some reason. There might not be anybody at the supercharger at all, and the one you go to just doesn't charge that quickly. Uh, in that case, I would recommend just trying a different one. Uh, sometimes just weird things happen and a supercharger might not be working properly, and it'll charge slower. The last thing I wanna talk about are the recent changes to the supercharging program. So up until now, any Model S and Model X gets free supercharging for life. It's only really supposed to be for long distance travel. So if you're supercharging at your local supercharger a lot, then Tesla might send you a letter saying, hey, we've noticed you've been charging at your local one a lot. Like, please remember they're primarily used for long distance travel. I'm not sure how many people Tesla's actually sent a letter like that to, but they have sent it to some people. Tesla hasn't released the full details of their new supercharging system, but so far what we know is that any vehicles where, that are ordered starting January 1st, 2017, or taken delivery of uh, April 1st, 2017, or later, will be under the new system. So you have to order your vehicle before January 1st and take delivery before April 1st to be grandfathered into the unlimited supercharging. The new system will be, you only get 400 kilowatt hours of charging free, so that's per year. So every year you'll get another 400 kilowatt hours credit and then beyond that you'll have to pay for for blocks of power 400 kilowatt hours is roughly the amount of power needed to go about a thousand miles so a thousand miles on the supercharger probably enough to cover most people in a year anyways so it shouldn't affect a lot of people so if you feel like you're gonna be somebody that's gonna use supercharging a lot you do a lot of long-distance travel you definitely want to order your car before January 1st and take delivery before April 1st if you go over, then you just have to buy additional blocks of power, which Tesla, they haven't announced the pricing. It'll vary by 
region and everything and utility rates, but they said it'll be cheaper than the cost of gas to fill up a gas tank. I personally think the way they're modifying the supercharging program is actually really genius. A lot of people were really nervous about what was going to happen when the Model 3 came out and when they started pumping out you know, 400,000 plus Teslas a year and how that was going to overload the supercharger network. But I think with this new system they're giving people some free credits but not enough to where people are really going to abuse it. You know, that should help stop people that are charging locally. Uh, a lot of people thought it was going to be an all or nothing sort of thing where either you'd pay and you'd unlock unlimited supercharging on the Model 3 or you had to pay every time you use the supercharger. I think this is a really good balance. They're giving you a little bit of charging for free, enough that most people uh, for their long distance trips should be covered. And then if they do go over, they have to pay a little bit. It's not, not going to be a whole lot of money. And you're not having to pay an upfront cost to, to buy supercharging for life. And Tesla said that supercharging is not a money maker. They're not looking to, to really make a profit on supercharging. They just want to maintain the system and expand it as necessary. So I'm really happy with what they're doing. I think supercharging is great. It's really one of the key reasons to get a Tesla over any other electric vehicle. You really can't do a long distance road trip with another electric vehicle because they don't have something comparable to superchargers. Uh, the, the quick charging of other electric vehicles caps out at 50 kilowatts, where supercharging does like 120 kilowatts. So there's a big difference between charging with a supercharger and charging with another quick charge system from one of the other manufacturers. Well, that's it for this video. I hope I answered any of your questions on supercharging. And don't forget, if you want to get in with the unlimited supercharging, you have to order your vehicle before January 1st. So you can use my referral link. I'll put it in the description down below, and you'll save $1,000 off the price of your Tesla. Uh, all right, well, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next video.